12 hour clock, Wikipedia article audio. The 12 hour clock is a time convention in which the 24 hours of the day are divided into two periods, AM and PM. Each period consists of 12 hours numbered, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. The 24 hour slash day cycle starts at 12 midnight, runs through 12 noon, and continues to the midnight at the end of the day. The 12 hour clock was developed over time from the mid 2nd millennium BC to the 16th century AD. The 12 hour time convention is common in several English speaking nations and former British colonies, as well as a few other countries. History and Use Use by Country The natural day and night division of a calendar day forms the fundamental basis as to why each day is split into two cycles. Originally there were two cycles, one cycle which could be tracked by the position of the sun followed by one cycle which could be tracked by the moon and stars. This would eventually evolve into the two 12-hour periods that started at midnight and noon which are used today. Noon itself is rarely abbreviated today, but if it is, it is denoted M. The 12-hour clock can be traced back as far as Mesopotamia and ancient Egypt. Both an Egyptian sundial for daytime use and an Egyptian water clock for nighttime use were found in the tomb of Pharaoh Amenhotep I dating to c. 1500 BC, these clocks divided their respective times of use into 12 hours each. The Romans also used a 12-hour clock, daylight was divided into 12 equal hours and the night was divided into 4 watches. The first mechanical clocks in the 14th century, if they had dials at all, showed all 24 hours, used the 24-hour analog dial, influenced by astronomers' familiarity with the astrolabe and sundial, and their desire to model the Earth's apparent motion around the Sunday. In Northern Europe these dials generally used the 12-hour numbering scheme in Roman numerals, but showed both AM and PM periods in sequence. This is known as the double 12 system, and can be seen on many surviving clock faces, such as those at Wells and Exeter. Elsewhere in Europe, particularly in Italy, numbering was more likely to be based on the 24-hour system, reflecting the Italian style of counting the hours. The 12-hour clock was used throughout the British Empire. Computer Support During the 15th and 16th centuries, the 12-hour analog dial and time system gradually became established as standard throughout Northern Europe for general public use. The 24-hour analog dial was reserved for more specialized applications, such as astronomical clocks and chronometers. Most analog clocks and watches today use the 12-hour dial, on which the shorter hour hand rotates once every 12 hours and twice in one day. Some analog clock dials have an inner ring of numbers along with the standard 1 to 12 numbered ring. The number 12 is paired either with a 00 or a 24 while the numbers 1 through 11 are paired with the numbers 13 through 23, respectively. This modification allows the clock to be read also in the 24-hour notation. This kind of 12-hour clock can be found in countries where the 24-hour clock is preferred. Abbreviations in several countries the 12-hour clock is the dominant written and spoken system of time, predominantly in nations that were part of the former British Empire, though a few others follow this convention as well. In most countries, however, the 24-hour clock is the standard system used, especially in writing. Some nations use a combination of the two, 
preferring the 12-hour system in colloquial speech but using the 24-hour system in written form and in formal contexts. This is true in some European nations and Latin America. The 12-hour clock in speech often uses phrases such as in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, and at night. Outside of English-speaking countries, the terms AM and PM are seldom used and often unknown. In England, the descriptive phrases were universal until relatively recently, e.g., Writer's British Merlin Almanac for 1795 uses them, and so does a similar almanac for 1773. In most countries, computers by default show the time in 24-hour notation. Most operating systems, including Microsoft Windows and Unix-like systems such as Linux and Mac OS, activate the 12-hour notation by default for a limited number of language and region settings. Related Conventions This behavior can be changed by the user, such as with the Windows operating system region and language settings. Typography The Latin abbreviations AM and PM are used in English and Spanish. The equivalents in Greek are pi dot and dot dot, respectively, and in Sinhala dot for and dot for. However, noon is rarely abbreviated in any of these languages, noon normally being written in full. In Portuguese, there are two official options and many other used, for example, using 2145 pm. 21h45 or 21h45 min or 21:45 or 9:45 pm encoding most other languages lack formal abbreviations for before noon and after noon and their users use the 12 hour clock only orally and informally however in many languages such as russian and hebrew informal designations are used such as 9 in the morning or 3 in the night. When abbreviations and phrases are omitted, one may rely on sentence context and societal norms to reduce ambiguity. For example, if one commutes to work at 9 colon 0 9 a.m. may be implied, but if a social dance is scheduled to begin at 9 colon 0 it may begin at 9 p.m. Informal speech and rounding off The terms AM and PM are abbreviations of the Latin anti-meridiem and post-meridiem. Depending on the style guide referenced, the abbreviations AM and PM are variously written in small capitals, uppercase letters without a period, uppercase letters with periods, or lowercase letters. Some style books suggest the use of a space between the number and the AM or PM abbreviation. Style guides recommend not using AM and PM without a time preceding it, although doing so can be advantageous when describing an event that always happens before or after noon. The hour slash minute separator varies between countries, some use a colon, others use a period, and still others use the letter H. In many instances using the 24-hour clock, there is no separator between hours and minutes. In Unicode, there exist symbols for. They are meant to be used only with Chinese-Japanese-Korean character sets, as they take up exactly the same space as one Chinese character. Formal speech and times to the minute It is common to round a time to the nearest five minutes and express the time as so many minutes past an hour or minutes to an hour. A period of 15 minutes is often expressed as a quarter and 30 minutes is expressed as half. Thus, the time would be spoken as 8.45, and quarter to 9. Moreover, 
in situations where the relevant hour is obvious or has been recently mentioned, speakers can use terms quarter to and half past to avoid elaborate sentences in particularly informal conversations. These forms are often commonly used in television and radio broadcasts that cover multiple time zones at one-hour intervals. Confusion at noon and midnight Instead of meaning 5.30, the half-five expression is sometimes used to mean 4.30, or halfway to 5, especially for regions such as the American Midwest and other areas that have been particularly influenced by German culture. This meaning follows the pattern choices of many Germanic and Slavic languages, including Dutch, Danish, Finnish, Hungarian, and Swedish. AM U plus 33C2 end Minutes may be expressed as an exact number of minutes past the hour specifying the time of day. Additionally, when expressing the time using the past or to formula, it is conventional to choose the number of minutes below 30. In spoken English, full hours are often represented by the numbered hour followed by a clock. This may be followed by the AM or PM designator, though phrases such as in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, or at night more commonly follow analog style terms such as a clock, half past three, and quarter to four. A clock itself may be omitted, telling a time as 4 a.m. or 4 p.m. Minutes 01 to 09 are usually pronounced as 01 to 09. Minutes 10 to 59 are pronounced as their usual number words. For instance, 6.02 a.m. can be pronounced 6.02 a.m. whereas 6.32 a.m. could be told as 6.32 a.m. It is not always clear what times 12 a.m. and 12 p.m. denote. From the Latin words meridis, ante, and post, the term ante meridiem means before midday and post meridiem means after midday. Since noon is neither before nor after itself, the terms a.m. and p.m. do not apply. Although 12 m. was suggested as a way to indicate noon, this is seldom done and also does not resolve the question of how to indicate midnight. The American Heritage Dictionary of the English Language states by convention, 12 a.m. denotes midnight and 12 p.m. denotes noon. Because of the potential for confusion, it is advisable to use 12 noon and 12 midnight. E.G. Richards in his book Mapping Time provided a diagram in which 12 a.m. means noon and 12 p.m. means midnight. The style manual of the United States Government Printing Office used 12 a.m. for noon and 12 p.m. for midnight until its 2008 edition, when it reversed these designations later maintained in its 2016 revision. Many U.S. style guides, and NIST S frequently asked questions web page, recommend that it is clearest if one refers to noon or 12 o'clock noon and midnight or 12 o'clock midnight. The NIST website states that 12 a.m. and 12 p.m. are ambiguous and should not be used. The Associated Press style book specifies that midnight is part of the day that is ending, not the one that is beginning. Thus, according to AP style, midnight Friday occurs one minute after 11.59 p.m. Friday, not one minute before 12.01 a.m. Friday The Canadian Press style book says, right noon or midnight not 12 noon or 12 midnight. Phrases such as 12 a.m. and 12 p.m. are not mentioned at all. Britain's National Physical Laboratory FAQ Time web page states in cases where the context cannot be relied upon to place a particular event, the pair of days straddling midnight can be quoted, 
also the terms 12 a.m. and 12 p.m. should be avoided. Likewise, some U.S. style guides recommend either clarifying midnight with other context clues, such as specifying the two dates between which it falls, or not referring to midnight at all. For an example of the latter method, midnight is replaced with 11.59 p.m. For the end of a day or 12.01 a.m. For the start of a day. That has become common in the United States in legal contracts and for airplane, bus, or train schedules, though some schedules use other conventions. Occasionally, when trains run at regular intervals, the pattern may be broken at midnight by displacing the midnight departure one or more minutes, such as to 11.59 p.m. or 12.01 a.m.